What's going on Pokemon trainers? It's John here from 4Gamers with a quick video on a question that a lot of you guys have been asking me. So a lot of you guys uh, wanted either swap breed or start getting to Masuda Method and you're like, hey John, how do I get the Destiny Knot? Uh, because the Destiny Knot is a very important item if you want to be uh, breeding for competitive Pokemon. Uh, if you don't know what the Destiny Knot is, it's basically a held item that when uh, one of the Pokemon that are breeding in the daycare, uh, when they hold it, it passes and makes it so uh, they pass down five IVs uh, between the parents. So basically if you have like, let's just say you have a 6 IV Ditto and a 6 IV Pokemon or something and they make a, they make um, an egg or whatever, um, they'll pass down 5 IVs between the two of them. So Ditto might pass down 3 and other Pokemon pi might pass down 2. So that uh, the bred Pokemon will always have 5 perfect IVs if both par parents are absolutely perfect. Uh, but yeah, it's you don't have to have perfect parents, but it is very helpful for when you want to pass down good IVs uh, that you get either through like Wonder Trade or that you've been breeding up or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to teach you guys really quick how to do it. It's really easy. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, uh, but this is the way I did it, and um, it seemed it, it worked for me. So um, a lot you can either go to uh, you can go to the Battle uh, Royale. That's one way to do it. You can go to ba Battle Royale, and uh, basically you you can pay 48 BP. Uh, for a Destiny Knot if you have that. With Pokebank, that might be a lot more practical for a lot of you guys. If you've racked up a lot of BP and you want to spend it, just fly on over to the Battle Royale and buy your Destiny Knot, and then boom, you're done. Uh, but if you don't have any BP like I didn't before uh, uh, Pokebank dropped, uh, this is the way I did it. So first, uh, you're going to want to go to Akala Island, which is the second island, guys, and you're going to want to um, fly to uh, Pen uh, Paniola Ranch, okay? So once you're at Paniola Ranch, this is where you find um, Lillipup, okay? So Lillipup has the ability, uh, it can either have, I can't remember what the other ability is but it can have a chance of having pickup right um so basically the way we're gonna get this destiny knot is by uh having uh lillipops with pickup ability so you're gonna um you're gonna get into wild battle right and you're gonna try to look for lillipops and you're just gonna catch them right you could you could have a trace pokemon if you have a trace pokemon to see what their ability is so here's a lillipop guys uh just for dem uh, demonstration purposes i already have a full team of uh, lillipops uh so i'm not gonna catch this one uh but basically you would just catch this if you had trace pokemon you could trace its ability to see if it had pickup before you caught it anyway so uh, you would just catch this little pup, okay? And you try to get like a full team of uh, five. So that's all we do. Uh, and so once you have a team of five, or you can also get a, a Lonely Meowth has it and Munchlax has it. Uh, so once you get a team of like five, Pokemon that have the pickup ability. Uh, basically, what you're gonna want to do is you just want to get into random battles, uh, and you're gonna want to. Uh, so you're gonna want to KO Pokemon, right? So uh, after each battle, we'll check uh, if any of the Pokemon picked up anything. Um, Spoiler alert, you saw one of my Pokemon was holding an item. That's the Destiny Knot because it already picked up the Destiny Knot, guys. Uh, it took me about two hours to find the Destiny Knot, um, maybe like an hour uh, and a half. So it was uh, it was well worth it, though, because now I'm able to do uh, competitive uh, IV breeding. So yeah, what you're going to do is you're going to get a high-level Pokemon, guys. You're going to KO the opponent's Pokemon really quick. Uh, once you have your full team of uh, five pickup uh, ability Pokemon, guys... And uh, then you're going to check after each battle. You can check like every three or four battles because they don't pick up every af after every battle. So yeah, so these guys didn't pick up anything yet. Um, and you're just going to want to battle. Um, now the thing is, uh, you see a lot of my little pups were in like the level 40s and stuff like that. Um, so basically, the higher the level, uh, the Pokemon, the more rare item they're, uh, they are willing to pick up. So basically, like, if you level up your Lillipops and stuff, you have experience Geron or something, uh, that's very helpful, guys, because uh, basically what it's going to do is going to up your odds into finding uh, rare items like the Destiny Knot. The uh, Destiny Knot in uh, previous games was listed as a rare item. It used to only be able to be picked up uh, after level 50. Uh, but I, I actually, I think I got it when my little pup was around level 30 or something like that. So it's really not too hard to do, guys. Um, see little pups uh, leveling up. I actually had... Uh, I accidentally let one of my little pups evolve. Uh, yeah, that's another thing, guys. Don't let your little pups evolve. So you got to see right here, your little pups are gonna want to evolve, but when they turn into uh, herdier, they lose their pickup ability. So you're gonna, gonna make sure that they don't evolve, guys, uh, every time they level up. But yeah, every time they level up, they'll be a little more uh, likely to pick up a rarer item. Uh, and look, this pick, uh, this little pup down here picked up an item. It's got a repel, so uh, nothing too great. But yeah, you just keep repeating this, guys, until it uh, picks up a rare item. Um, you sometimes get stone stuff. And see here, we have the Destiny Knot, which I picked up earlier. Uh, I just wanted for demo purposes to show you. That's how you get it. So then you just take the item, and boom, you have your Destiny Knot. You smack it onto your Ditto or whatever Pokemon you're breeding with, and bam, you can breed. Uh, you can breed more competitive Pokemon a lot easier. Uh, really quick, I'll show you guys where you can buy the um, buy the. Um, uh, which we call it? Yeah, you can buy the 
uh, Destiny Knot if you have the BP to spend. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's about all you got to do. So same island, guys, Akala Island. You're just going to go fly to the Battle Dome, uh, the Battle Royale place. And I'll show you exactly which counter you can pick it up at. Uh, so here we go. We're at the Battle uh, Battle Avenue, guys. You just go in here, um, and if you have a lot of BP, you can just purchase it. But uh, before Pokebang dropped, I didn't have, like, any BP because I didn't have any competitive Pokemon. It's hard to get competitive Pokemon to battle with uh, without the Destiny Knot, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so, yeah, you just go to the far, I think it's, yeah, far right counter, guys. Here it is. Destiny Knot for 48 BP. Uh, right now I have 0 BP because I still need to claim uh, the BP that I had uh, the... Uh, uh, Pokebank drop into my game. So anyway, that's how you do it guys That's those are the two ways you can get the Destiny Knot um, in Pokemon Sun and Moon I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope it helped. Uh, I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye